action. Just kidding, I always want to do that. Let me go put that back now. So I bought this Hollywood sign and I always want to use it in my videos, but it doesn't move, which sucks. I wish it kind of moved up and down because that would have been really cool and it would have made more sense, but it doesn't. It's snowing. Aren't we in spring now? Anyways, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Sharina and I post weekly content on fashion and travel. I'll leave down my Instagram so that you guys can check that out too because I post a lot of fashion related content on my Instagram as well, so check it out. Um, so today I thought I'd show you guys how I style this white simple dress that I will be showing you guys really soon. I bought this at Sirens and I got a lot of use out of it because I was able to style it in a couple of different ways actually I was able to dress it up and down depending on the occasion so if you guys want to see how I style this simple white dress then keep on watching so this is the dress super cute it's just a midi dress I love that it goes right below the knee I find that super classy and you can wear it to a lot of events because it's appropriate to wear and yeah I think they had this in quite a few different colors at sirens I'll try to link down the dress if I find it because I did buy this last summer but I'm pretty sure they have a similar dress so I'll find it for you guys and I'll link it down below so yeah I just want to show you guys what the dress looks like before trying on the outfits a fashion tip that I want to give you guys was to take a pair of nylons that you don't wear anymore and cut it into shorts and wear it underneath your dress and you'll see that it actually makes quite a difference you kind of eliminate the hip dip that you usually get in dresses and it just gives you a nice and smooth look or you can of course wear biker shorts but you have to be kind of mindful with biker shorts because you can see the line um, that's what I have on right now and you can basically see the line I don't know if you guys saw that from before or if you just noticed it right now because I pointed it out but that's the thing with biker shorts you can kind of see where the biker shorts start whereas for nylons you don't really see the line so yeah that's a little tip for you guys but yeah moving on I'm going to show you guys look number one all right guys so this is outfit number one super simple you just throw on your basic tee over your dress and you tie it into a knot very basic and very easy to throw on so this one is actually a mesh top and I love that because you can still kind of see the dress peeking through I think that's like a little detail that I find really cute about this outfit so the mesh top is actually from Forever 21 and I know we don't have a Forever 21 anymore but we have a lot of stores in Montreal that actually sell mesh tops um, I can try finding a few and linking it down below and to finish the outfit I threw on my favorite pair of sneakers my Nikes and yeah that's literally all I did and it made a difference in my outfit I think this is a very casual look that you can basically wear every day in the summer. It kind of goes with any occasion. So yeah, I love this outfit because it's kind of something that you can just throw on in the summertime and just go about your day. Um, yeah, very simple, very comfortable and kind of just gives your dress a little bit of extra flavor. This is outfit number one and now we're going to see outfit number two. So this is outfit number two. I threw on my favorite denim jacket. This is from Urban Planet. Um, I have a little fanny pack that I got at Guess and I threw on some Converse. Again, very simple. Just accessorize your white dress with a few basic items that you have at home. I chose to go with some black items. Uh, from my closet that I already had and it kind of just pulls the whole look together and now it looks like your outfit has a lot more going on than just a basic white dress and if ever you want to make it look a little more different I would take off the denim jacket and just put it over your shoulders so that you could see a bit more of the dress 
and still have some sort of accessory going on in your outfit. I love this outfit because I have worn it so many times and got complimented on basically everything. A lot of people asked me where my denim jacket was from and a lot of people actually thought it was from Topshop but it's in fact from Urban Planet. It's kind of casual like the first outfit but a little more I would say complete because you have a jacket, you have a bag and you have on some cute shoes. So yeah, again, this is something I would wear um, for a regular day if I'm going out somewhere in the summer and want to look cute. Now let's go on to outfit number three. So this is outfit number three. I think it is such a cool idea to use your dress as a top and pair it with a skirt. I'm gonna give you guys a little secret. I do this really often. I use my dresses as tops. Sometimes you have to be careful with that because um, you want to choose a skirt that won't show the dress underneath. So make sure to choose a material that's a bit thicker than usual. So this is a yellow leather skirt. It's very thick in material, so it's harder to see the dress underneath. So yeah, um, use your dress as a top. It works wonders and I think honestly it's really cute and no one's going to notice. So for this outfit in particular, I have the white dress on and I have a cute little skirt from Sirens. It's just a yellow leather skirt that I got I think a year ago. So yeah, to make it a little more fancier, I decided to pair it with my black heels and you have an outfit right here. Of course, it's very summery, but if you had somewhere to go in the summer, I think this is a very cute outfit. Alright guys, so this is outfit number four. Um, it's kind of weird because I need to film and my jacket's falling off. But basically, I have on a super chill, simple crew neck that I got from H&M. Um, I have my leather jacket right on top. I got this at Zara, I believe. And I have on the dress and then again with some heels. I like this outfit is fun because it's casual, but it still kind of has like an edge to it. Um, yeah, the leather jacket and the crew neck kind of make the outfit a little more fun. We're kind of doing the reverse for this outfit. So in outfit number three, we used the top part of the dress. And now in outfit number four, we're using the bottom part. So I find that really cool. Um, yeah, so this just goes to show that you can use your dress in so many different ways by using items in your closet. I wish I can show you guys the outfit properly without this kind of falling off. But I hope you guys get the outfit. Um, of course, you can just wear it with the crew neck, but I feel like it really ties in with the heels when you add the leather jacket on top. So yeah, let's um, go on to outfit number five now. Last but not least, we have this outfit right here. It's very casual once again, but you kind of look a little more put together when you have some extra pieces from your closet. So I put on a very neutral cardigan. So it's kind of like an off-white beige cardigan that I got at Sirens, I believe. And then I paired it with my Fila's. So yeah, you kind of still look sporty, but you still look cute because you're wearing a dress and your cardigan isn't too heavy. It's very dainty. Um, you can kind of wear it with like one shoulder off. Um, and yeah, very comfortable, very chill. Again, something that I would wear to run some errands in the summer or go somewhere cute in the daytime. So yeah, these are my five outfits. I think it's really fun to use a basic dress as your base for your outfit and then kind of accessorize it with different colors or different things from your closet and make your dress a little more fun and playful. I chose some pieces that I know a lot of us would have in our closet and can use to style the dress. So yeah, and there you have it. Those are five different ways on how you can style a basic white dress. So there you have it. That is how you style this dress in five different ways. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
and I hope you guys use some of these tips for your dresses it doesn't necessarily have to be a white dress I'm pretty sure you can do the same exact thing for your different dresses whether it be a black dress a pink dress whatever dress it is I'm pretty sure you can use some basic items in your closet to dress it up or down and yeah just have fun with your closets if you guys enjoyed the video then let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.